how many distinct sequences of ones and zeros can be made from a certain number of bits? Well, a bit is like a binary switch, zero or one for off and on. Sometimes it's north and south poles of a magnet, but there's only two options, see, for each of the bits themselves. So if you have a little switch here and it's got to get filled in with a one or a zero, well, that's two options and you're done. If you have two bits, then this first bit could be one or a zero, and this next bit could also independently be one or zero, which means you have two options for the first bit and two options for the second bit. That makes four distinct sequences of ones and zeros for two bits. Now for two bits, it's easy to list them. You could have zero, 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 one, one, zero, or one, one. Those are all different binary sequences. The order matters. Zero, one is not the same as one, zero. So those are the four distinct sequences of two bits. You might already see a pattern here. You have, if you have three bits, it's two options for the first bit, two for the second, and two for the third, and you're going to multiply them all together. That makes two to the power of three, or times itself three times, or eight. That leads you to this formula, two to the n. If you know you have n bits, then two to the power of n is the distinct number of sequences that can be made from it. If you Google how many distinct sequences of ones and zeros can be made from nine bits, the Google snippet actually tells you the wrong answer. It brings up a stack overflow thing where the dude is saying, hey, I think it's this, but he's wrong. The answer is for nine bits, there are two options for each of those nine bits. And so you're multiplying two by itself nine times. That gives 512 distinct ways to do it. Now, just to emphasize why it's doubling, if you have these four options for the first two bits, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, you now need to add on a third bit to that. And that third bit could be 0, like this, or, and I'm just copying out those same sequences of two bits, or that second bit, I mean third bit, could be 1. And so now we have all eight options that make, or that you can make from a three-bit sequence. And to get to four bits, you'd copy out all of these twice. One of them gets a zero, one of them gets a one. You're doubling the number of possibilities every time you add an extra bit. Cool, thanks for being with me. This is how many distinct sequences of ones and zeros can you make from a certain number of bits? Thank you for being with me, and best of luck.